I just ate so much guacamole and now I feel kind of sick. Hey friends, it's Amy and welcome or maybe welcome back to my channel and another empties video. They just keep coming. In today's empties update, I'm going to do something a little bit different. At the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing a pretty shocking statistic with you guys because ever since this no buy you started, I've been keeping track of all of my empties in a spreadsheet. That's the kind of nerd I am. I make a note of everything that's in there and how much the value is so that by the time we get to the end of my no buy you, I'll know exactly how much money's worth of product I've used up in this year. And that way I figure I can get an idea of how much money I've saved by not buying superfluous beauty items this year. But, since we are now halfway through my no buy you, I decided that I would give you guys a sneak peek and share with you what that number is looking like right now. So the total value of all of the products that I've used up in the last six months, it blew my mind. It's gonna blow yours too, probably. So that's gonna come at the end of this video. But for now, let's get into the empties. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos about Project Pan, Empties, No Buy You, all that good stuff. And don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's called Less Junk, More Joy. It's all No Buy You related. I will link it in the description box down below. And now, bring on the trash. <sighs> Let's do this. So as per always, I'm only going to be talking you guys through the cruelty-free items in my bag since I no longer buy things that are tested on animals. So where to start? This is a newbie that I really enjoyed and you can tell because it's so well used that it has been completely destroyed. This is, or was, the Revolution Matte Base Powder. It's a setting powder. I hit pan hard on this one. I got mine in P3. They have a bunch of different color options available and I've gotta say, this is my new favorite setting powder, hands down. Oh no, there was a little bit of loose powder left in there and now it's all over my leggings. The show must go on. I'm an oily person. I can't leave the house without a setting powder. But what I found with a lot of setting powders in the past is that they're a little bit too thick. They're a little bit too heavy. My skin tends to have a little bit of weird texture anyway. And so those setting powders kind of emphasize that, which is not what I want. This is very light, but also just like sucks out all of the excess oil and moisture and things that you don't want in your face. Also, this is a huge pan. Can we talk about how much product you get in here? And it was £3.99. But I love this, highly recommend this if you are in the market for a new setting powder. <gasps> okay, we're gonna talk about an old nemesis of mine now. You may have heard me rant about this several times before, particularly if you watched my Winter Project Pan series, because this was in it and it was a struggle. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The cult favorite, everybody seems to love it, although a couple of you have commented on my videos and said that you have the same kind of problems with it, in that it is just an oily, oily mess. I mean, look at this, undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation, oil free. In whose world? In whose world? On average, I would say that this looked good on my skin for maybe two hours, and then I looked like a Picasso painting. Everything was sliding around, my eyes were down here, my chin was up here. It was a disaster. Everything was slipping and sliding. Just terrible. I looked so oily. It looked kind of like an ogre had sneezed on my face. I don't know truly gross and this is not a cheap foundation my friends so i definitely would not recommend for oily people maybe if you have drier skin then it might work for you next i have another foundation to talk about this one was also featured in my project pan this one's by the body shop it's their matte clay skin clarifying foundation and if you watched my spring project pan finale 
then you will have heard me talk about this and you will already know that I didn't like this one either. It sucked all of the moisture out of my face and really settled in any pore, any fine line, just like any crack or crevice in my face that it could get into and accentuate, it did. And it, it was scary to look at. We need a happy medium. We need something that's not too oily, not too dry, like a baby bear porridge situation. It needs to be just right. And this was not at all. My camera battery just died mid rant, but I'm back and I'm ready for more. Next, let's talk about a sun cream because sun protection is very important throughout the whole year, but especially during the summer. This is the Boots Sultan Protect and Moisturize in Factor 30. Now I've talked about this with regards to sun cream a bunch of times across the span of many years, but some people still don't know this. On your sun cream, you have your SPF factor, which in this case is a 30. This number only takes into account the UVB rays. Those are the rays that lead you to burn and get red and like a lobster. You also have UVA rays in the light that comes from the sun. Those are the rays that are the cancer causing rays like the uva i'm clearly not a scientist but the uva rays that's what can cause disruption within your dna and that's what causes cancer so what i love about sultan is that they have five star uva protection which is the highest protection you can have against uva rays other than obviously just like sitting inside away from the sun. So next time when you're shopping for your sun cream, check to make sure that you've got a high UVB protection, but also a high UVA protection. Seriously, I don't go for anything that's less than five stars, and a lot of the more expensive, well-known brands have like three, maybe four stars at best, whereas Sultan, which is the Boots own make, has five stars. Well, surprise, surprise, friends. I have yet another Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. It's so creamy. It blends in really beautifully. It has super good coverage without being cakey. And I mean, the fact that there's one in my empties bag month on month on month is just testament to how much I love this. Next, let's talk about something a little bit different. I have used up all of my apple cider vinegar tablets. I get in a lot of apple cider vinegar, you guys. And that's just because naturally I have a puny immune system. It just sucks. But I personally have found that using apple cider vinegar as like in a drink or in tablet form definitely helps to boost my immunity and when it comes to coughs and colds i am definitely nowhere near as susceptible as i used to be before i introduced the apple cider vinegar so if you don't like the thought of taking it as like a morning drink because it's gross and i totally understand if you don't want to do that then the tablets are a really great alternative next let's go ahead and talk about something else that's a little bit different this is the Wilco Hair Removal Cream for Sensitive Skin. Recently, I was kind of playing around with using hair removal cream instead of shaving my legs. I really did love the way that it made my legs feel. When the hair started to grow back, it wasn't so stubbly, but I found that it only worked so many times before it started to lose effectiveness and i don't know if that means that i have like super resistant leg hair or what i've used the vita hair removal cream in the past and that's like five times more expensive than this one and this one is cruelty free i looked up the price online before this video because i couldn't remember how much i spent on it and it said 50 pence 50 pence is no money, that's so cheap. Veet is like, what, six, seven pound? 50 pence, is that for real? Is that real life? The last beauty item that I'm gonna be talking about today is another contestant from the old Project Pan series. This is my Revolution 0.2% Retinol Fine Line Correcting Serum. This was my first time using a retinol. Having looked into it and researched it a little bit more, I think, Using a retinol in my day-to-day -day routine is definitely something that I want to continue. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this one just because I want 
a little bit more of a stronger retinol. So I've been looking online at The Ordinary. A couple of you guys had suggested that one to me too. So I think when I go ahead and eventually repurchase a new retinol, I'll go for The Ordinary because they have a 0.5% kind of upping the retinol level there. But for a starter, if you've never used retinol before, if you don't know if you're gonna like it or not, I'd say this is a good place to start. It's only got a little bit and it feels nice on the skin. And last but not least, by any means, I have a Yankee Candle and my favorite Yankee Candle. This is a vanilla cupcake. It's an oldie, it's a goodie. It smells like food, which is just everything I need in my life. It does kind of smell like Play-Doh too, and I'm not opposed to that. I love the smell of Play-Doh. Finally, before I reveal to you guys the kind of sickening value of all of the products I've used so far this year. I had a request to introduce a new portion into my monthly empties videos where I pick out a product that I am trying to use up in time for the next monthly empties video. And for this month, that is going to be this sample size. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. It's a sample size. I'm not challenging myself. Of the Poor Professional Matte Rescue by Benefit. It's not anything worth writing home about, so I'm ready to just use it up and get it out of my life, you know? Okay, let's talk about the value of all of the products that I have used up from the beginning of the year up until now. In this, I am taking into account makeup, skincare, hair care, and general toiletries like deodorants, uh, like the hair removal, like sun cream, that kind of stuff. Are you ready to know? I don't think I'm ready to tell you. So in six months, the value of the items that I have used up totals 798 pound. What even is that? What is that? I'm actually speechless. I don't know what to say. What can I say? There's nothing I can say. That is so obscene and so shocking. The fact that I had 798 pounds worth of products just chilling in my apartment to begin with. And I mean, that doesn't take into account the rest of the junk that I got in that drawer back there and in my bathroom. And let's not even get started on the boxes of cosmetics I have back at my parents' house in the UK. When I keep telling you guys that this no buy year has been an eye-opening experience, my eyes are wide open. So, uh, that was my empties video for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please go ahead and give this a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and join our Facebook group. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all soon. Bye.